Learn English with ease. Let's get a leg up. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our series, Introduction to English, Basic Vocabulary. Today we're diving into our section on health and wellness, specifically focusing on the lower body. Let's embark on a fascinating journey and explore one of the most important parts of the body, the legs. First and foremost, let's familiarize ourselves with the primary parts that make up our legs. Your leg consists of various parts such as the thigh, knee, shin, calf, ankle, foot, and toes. Thigh, the upper part of the leg between the hip and the knee. Knee, the joint between the thigh and the lower leg. Shin, the front part of the leg below the knee. Calf, the back part of the leg below the knee. Ankle, the joint connecting the foot with the leg. Foot, the lower extremity of the leg below the ankle, on which a person stands or walks. Toes, the digits or fingers of the foot. Remember, these words are crucial as they provide the foundation of our conversation about legs in English. Moving on, it's important to know the verbs that are commonly used when talking about actions involving the legs. Here are some of the key ones. Walk, to move at a regular pace by lifting and setting down each foot in turn. Run, to move at a speed faster than a walk. Kick, to strike or propel forcibly with the foot. Jump, to push oneself off a surface and into the air by using the muscles in one's legs and feet. Dance, to move rhythmically to music, typically following a set sequence of steps. Incorporating these verbs in your English sentences will enable you to describe actions that involve your legs more fluently. Lastly, let's look at some adjectives that are often used to describe legs. These adjectives can help you articulate more specific details about legs in English. Long, having considerable length. Short, having little length. Strong, having power to move heavy weights or perform other physically demanding tasks. Weak, lacking the power to perform physically demanding tasks. Smooth, free from projections or unevenness of surface. Adding these adjectives to your vocabulary will allow you to describe your legs or someone else's in more detail. And that's a wrap for today's lesson. We hope this video has been helpful in expanding your English vocabulary around the topic of legs. Keep practicing, and don't forget to use these new words in your daily English conversations. Remember, every step forward in your English learning journey counts no matter how small. See you in our next lesson.